Hi, and welcome to Bucko Banner on HeraldStandard.com. I'm your host, Rob Bertrani. With me, as usual, HeraldStandard.com sports writer Jonathan Guth. And the Pirates uh, haven't had many good days since the last time we talked. They did have one very, very eventful uh, day. But they've only had two wins uh, lately. And, John, why don't you recap what they've done real quick uh, since the last time, since the 19-inning game. We recapped that. That was a big win, obviously. And then they went to San Diego, which I said... For some reason, they can't seem to beat those guys. Got yep. swept. Doomed them. Got they swept. Get swept. Yep. And I was kind of, the first game, I was like, well, you know, you expect that with all the emotion and just maybe a little bit of a letdown. But then, you know, get swept and the Brewers take two out of three from them. And it just started to look really bad when the Cardinals beat them in game one with A.J. Burnett on the mound for the Bucks. Yep. But then they, uh, your stopper, Pirates right? came back with a huge victory, nine nothing. McDonald was tremendous. James McDonald mm-hmm. looked like J Mac, and <laughs> and Alvarez with two monster shots. One, I think it wasn't the longest. The home longest run home run by a pirate ever. Pirate ever, at PNC ever Park. At PNC I, think was, Park. I think it was four sixty three feet center field. Both of them went to center field. And then uh, well, I guess we want to talk about the Harrison play, Josh Harrison. Yep, and yeah. Kind of go over that, Rob. You've probably all seen by now, if you're a Pirate fan, the, the Harrison play, at least if you didn't see it live, I'm sure you saw it on uh, video somewhere. Um, and he crashed into uh, Molina, the catcher for the, the Cardinals, to try to draw, uh, draw, draw the ball loose. And uh, in my eyes, uh, that play, the Pirates went in one nothing at the time. And, you know, they're slumping. They, they, they've only won that one game, as you were saying. And uh, he really needed a bit, uh, something, something to spark him. And, and Molina held on to the ball, but Harrison had a good, clean hit. There was nowhere for him to go. He smashed into Molina. It was a classic play. Great throw by Carlos Beltran. A clutch hit by Tabata, Jose Tabata for the Pirates. And then <laughs> That's they, rare. It, yeah. And then <laughs> they, they smashed into each other, and, and Molina got hurt a little bit, but he got up. He was kind of wobbly. He left the game. Harrison was all right, but... Uh, to me, I, I think, I don't know how you felt, but I think they needed something like that. I think that fired up the whole team. I think you see a guy like that, even though he's out on the play, I, I think that the, you see a guy with that much effort and that much you know, heart on a play, that, that I think it helped the team out. Uh, I think it, it might have a residual effect. I would, I would attend, tend to agree on that as well. Yes, he got up, but he showed that drive, and we haven't seen that from the Pirates. I mean, that emotion that... You know, we're we're here, we're not afraid that you're the Cardinals, we're not embarrassed, you know, to be in this right, you know, we're not going to put our heads down, we're going to play you guys tough, even though you're defending World Series champions, always right. seem to beat yep. us, um, have embarrassed the Pirates on numerous cases that I remember in my livelihood, <laughs> and yep. just Harrison showed some, some toughness, and that's, I think, I hope that can carry over. I I really believe that could be a, one of if they do really get that chance to get into the playoffs, that could be a turning point. Even though it was just one play. Yeah, but we're looking for some turning point. And the ninth inning game obviously wasn't it. We thought it might be, and we knew the next game was going to be kind of tough, and they lost that. But but it didn't really do much for them at all. Uh, so maybe this this play and this game, because after that they started pouring it on. And then let's talk about Alvarez. He hasn't done anything for a yeah. while, and then boom, boom, hits those two shots like you were saying. I think he drove in four runs. Uh, yeah, if, you know, he's he's just on that roller coaster, and if he can just stay hot for a nice while, especially against the Cardinals and uh, the, the games they have here to keep him in the race a little bit, I think that helps the whole lineup out. Because McCutcheon has been slumping, too. He just yeah. started to come back a little bit, I guess. But, you know, I mean, they need those two guys, both of them. One thing about Alvarez, he hits well against the Cardinals, which obviously is important. Yeah, and that's one thing you will say. He comes to play against a very good team, and he's on pace for about thirty home runs. And really, I would say he gets that. I would say pretty uh, strong season. No, no, no doubt. At the beginning of the year, 60, you said thirty. Yeah, yeah. sixty-seven yeah. RBIs. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't know what the numbers are, but you know, gets close to ninety. That's I really think, considering all the things that we were talking about, you know, just how bad he was. Pretty much saying, get you know, send him down. He's really come back, and okay, it's roller coaster. But when he's on, he's he's yeah. probably one of the best power hitters in the game. Yeah, I mean, you just saw it last night. I mean, they were showing that on ESPN and all the highlights and uh, too. Uh, another thing, a good sign was James McDonald been struggling royally since the All Star break, and, and in two hits in seven innings. That's got to be a really good sign because I, I was starting to wonder if he was done for the year. Well, he comes back, and I think Burnett will find his stuff. I mean, that, that game he lost, I mean, it wasn't like he was terrible. 
Yeah, you give up like a cheap hit to the to the pitcher, and yeah, the, that, that, yeah. But, but I mean, I I think Burnett will come back. I I mean, he's just that kind of pitcher. He knows how to win, and he's not a, he's not obviously a pitch for the Yankees in the World Series, so he's not worried about pressure and all that stuff. Uh, Carsten's had some good outings. I think that's a, Carson's won the only other yeah. game that they won since we last. So off. that's a then, good, he, then he got to a little bit of an injury, I guess, right? Yeah, and but one thing we wanted to get into was uh, Mr. Bedard. Yeah, and the Pirates <laughs> did on, on that same day when they won nine nothing. I'll give you credit because when they traded for Juan Rodriguez, they they uh, we were talking about it, and I said you got to take Correa out of the rotation, and you said to take Bedard out of the rotation, and no doubt about it, you were right. Bedard's been been horrible, and he's kind of a surly guy too. I don't think he was helping him much in the clubhouse. Every time he he would lose or win, and they'd ask him about a pitch or a hit, and yeah. he'd say, "Well, I threw it, and they hit it. You know, <laughs> I just threw the ball and hit the ball." You know? and, you know, he wasn't really uh, adding much chemistry, I think, wise. So they got rid of him. You're, you're right. I mean, I don't know if they're going to put Correa in a rotation or what they're going to do. They haven't really decided yet. But uh, well, Wandy has to step it up. Yeah, you're right. Wandy and does. Correa, I mean, you know, he was pitching well, so. He kind of broke his momentum a little bit. Yeah. So maybe we can get him back in the groove. He we'll might be the guy. We'll see what happens. They do have these guys in the minors, too. A lot of guys who, who they could bring up. I mean, they haven't, they've been reluctant to do that. I don't know why. No, I, I don't either, really. <laughs> Uh, another mystery of the Pirates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think, you know, this is going to be an interesting September. They have Milwaukee. For three, three games. Yeah. That's always At tough. Milwaukee, yeah. But they can get out of there, and then they go to Houston. Well, Houston comes here, and that's a team they've dominated for a long time. So we'll see how they can do. All right. Um, we'll talk to you next week on Bucko Banner.